Good morning YouTube. It's a nice sunny day, first sunny day of the year. Well, that's not strictly true. It's the first really warm day. It's supposed to be up to 20 degrees today, which is nice for March. However, I'm extremely, extremely late for work. I should have been at work three minutes ago and I'm still 10 minutes away. Which sucks balls. But I'm going to show you a pretty famous street in this city uh, which is full of cherry blossom which is called Sakura in Japan and don't know why but Japanese people are completely obsessed with it okay it's nice it's a nice color it's a nice flower it means the spring is here when you see it but they're really obsessed with it they make tea out of it they've got clothes with the pattern on it the only good thing about this season when the cherry blossom comes out is that there's generally tons of piss ups in the, all the parks so everyone sits under the cherry blossom trees and gets drunk pretty much <laughs> here we go so this is the famous street not like super famous as in tourist attraction but the local people know know about it and they always come here and take pictures like pretty much today when the cherry blossom first comes out it's supposed to come out on the 21st like it's the flowers are supposed to come into the season or into bloom on the 21st so uh, it's a little bit a uh, little bit early this year but yeah have a look it's nice it's very pretty isn't it very pretty my pretty little girl so yeah it's uh that time of year unfortunately this year i'm not drinking so i can probably go to one of these cherry blossom parties but i'll be the only loser there that's not drinking a can of beer that's for health reasons this year i got a bloody ghoul stone and the doctor told me it's because you drink too much so I said to the doctor what do you mean I drink too much I only drink like six cans of beers every single day that's that's not uh, no overdoing it is it and he pretty much laughed at me and said stop being a loser stop drinking so much beer number one you're gonna get fat number two you're gonna get health problems you won't be able to fit in your racing suit. Uh, oh yeah, okay, that's a good point. So, I decided basically to uh, knock it on the head. Haven't had a drink now for three months, I guess. And in those three months, I didn't really like diet or do any special exercise or anything, but just three months of not drinking, I lost nine kilos in weight, which is pretty bloody amazing, really. So yeah, I'm off the booze plus all that money you spend on booze I mean don't get me wrong here I'm not some some dude sitting on the sofa watching football games drinking cans that he bought from Tesco's here it's like the only uh, way to interact with other foreigners like my job I'm the only foreign guy obviously my wife's Japanese so I come home and there's Japanese work, Japanese, go to the shops, Japanese, go to the petrol station, Japanese, you know, and sometimes you just, uh, you, sometimes you just want to hang out with foreigners, right, talk a bit of English for a change, but all the foreigners are at bars, you know, primarily Irish bars and American sports bars, so, you want to have a little bit of a, a chinwag with a fellow foreigner so you have to go out drinking that's just the way it is and after a while it just becomes a habit you know you go it's like every night you go out you know that some one of your mates is there so every night you go out and drink which is all right it's fun while it lasts but obviously all good things have to come to an end hmm this traffic light here is a f bastard. This is what they call a scramble. A scramble traffic light. It's counting down the red man after one, one more dot 
and then they're all gonna get mad. Uh huh. Okay, go, go, go. Look at this, all directions. Left to right, back to front, diagonal. Oh, nearly crashed there on the bicycle. Good job. But obviously this is not Tokyo. And this is not that famous like uh, Shibuya crossing that you always see on the movies and stuff. But <laughs> plus I'm late, it's 9.08 and everyone's already at work. But uh, there's a few, there's loads of these like scramble scramble uh, crossings and they're a complete pain in the ass. Because all the traffic stopped now. And now everyone, this these people and these people are like getting them, they're, they just put their car or the bike in gear and they're like, yes, let's go! And then, when you just think you're going to go, you realise, fuck, it's not my turn, it's the other direction. <laughs> Need to wheelie to wake myself up. Oh, some dangerous driving going on. High ace vans are one of the worst. These high ace vans are all used by builders and contractors and stuff, and they all drive like twats. The biggest twats in Japan though are the taxi drivers. Their their customer first principle. I, was, I mean, they should be commended for their customer first principle because as soon as they see a customer, the only thing that they can contemplate, the only thing that's important to them is that customer. Ah, oh, fuck off. So they, they'll just do anything. They'll do the craziest thing just to get, just for you. Which when you're the, you're the guy waiting for the taxi, that's freaking awesome. But if you're anyone else on the road, that's not awesome. Because they'll just do a U-turn in front of you. They'll slam on like doing an emergency brake. Right, without checking what's behind them and stuff. They go freaking mental. Excuse me. And uh, yeah, I actually crashed into one once. On a, a busy day in the sort of downtown area around here, I was on my, what was I on? My FZR 1000. And I wasn't, for a change, I wasn't riding like a, like a knob. I was just riding normally. And I'd been sort of avoiding taxis for about five minutes. Like all these dickheads slowing on their brakes, opening the car doors, like stopping on crossings like this and stuff. And so I was already in a bad mood. I was like, fucking taxis, get out of my way sort of thing. And then the guy in front, hmm, I guess he was, I was pretty up his ass, so yeah, it's sort of my fault. It was probably only a meter behind him. And then he did his usual, the usual taxi driver in Japan chick, slammed on his brakes, like full on emergency stop, like he's trying to pass his driving test kind of thing. And uh, I, I didn't react in time, and so I crashed into the back of him. But I didn't crash the bike. Well, I did. I didn't crash the main part of the bike. I crashed this part of the bike. So my hand, my fingers, and my clutch lever went bang into the back of the guy's brake light. It broke his tail lamp and my hand, obviously. <laughs> because he was emergency stopping and I was trying to overtake, I just sort of, fuck me. I'd already gone past him a little bit. Ah, these lights are not in my favour today. I'd already gone past him a bit, so, uh, and because I was in a bad mood, I just thought, fuck it, and just carried on going. See, a broken tail light, obviously, obviously that's naughty. I broke the law. But over here, everything, like, if you do have some sort of little accident or incident, it just eats up your day. And I, one time my parents came to visit me, and, uh, we just do were doing some really mundane job. Like we went to a tool shop to to buy some tools for me. And my dad opened the car door into the car next to us. Right? And it didn't do it it didn't dent the guy's car. It didn't scratch it. You couldn't see anything. Like honestly, no joke, there was no marks on the car. But the guy got super pissed off. Ah. Obviously, my dad doesn't speak Japanese, and the guy's like shouting at him, Why don't you apologize, you bloody foreigner? <laughs> kind of like that. And so my dad's like, What's going on? What's going on? Translate for me. 
so I was just like apologising to the guy saying oh I'm very sorry I'm very sorry and it just dragged on the guy just kept saying like you gotta apologise more and stuff and so eventually I I reached my limit and I was like oh, why don't you just fuck off I, I basically said so the guy called the cops so yeah the guy called the police and uh <laughs> the police came and then I told then I realized that I, I was getting a bit angry with the old the the dude so when the police turned up I decided to be super super polite like the politest foreigner you have ever met hello my good officer I I quite agree that I my father made a mistake by opening his vehicle door onto this other gentleman's door that kind of I was super polite anyway and the cops were just like well there's no scratch there's uh, no dent can't see any marks on the car so uh, yeah we'll we'll just go now but it took obviously the police weren't you know a minute away so we had to wait for the cops to turn up and then wait for the old the, the dude to moan to the cops then wait for the cops to hear our side of the story and stuff so a simple little thing like that took one freaking hour and I hadn't even gone into the shop yet. <laughs> I went to buy tools. Then this happened. Then I was just like, I'm not really interested in buying tools anymore. So yeah, when I hit that taxi, I ran away. I did. I broke the law. But, oh well. Sometimes in life, you make mistakes. And then you make a YouTube video about it. Oh, I'm 15 minutes late. Bloody hell. It's supposed to be. I could have actually taken the day off today. I probably should have done looking at this weather. No, my like, my day off is tomorrow. It's going to freaking piss down. I can just see it happening now. Beautiful day today. Perfect day to go for a ride. But no, I'm stuck in a freaking office. Well, hurry up, Pant. All I want is to buy some smokes. Hurry the fuck up. Oh, annoying wanker. Okay, so. I'm basically already close enough to work to end the video, so. See you guys. Oh, do you want to come inside the convenience store with me? Come on then, come on then. Yeah, 47 van, kudasai. Hi. ごめんね、カメラ。ちょっとテストするけど。はい、ありがとうございます。Okay, <laughs> gave you a sneak peek. Now you know what I smoke. Don't smoke kids. It's bad for you. Okay, guys. Bye-bye.